open for me. That's it. About 70% of people over the age of 65 will need long-term care, help with daily activities like eating or bathing. And whether we want it to or not, the burden of that care often falls on the family. You ready, Mom? Ready again? Lynn is the only sibling left in his family to take care of Mom. So in 2003, Lynn moved her in with him and Ned, his partner of 23 years. When I was a kid, my mom and dad took in all sick old people, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that's uh, the way I was brought up. And so I didn't think it was a big deal to take care of mom. Mary's care has fallen primarily on Ned. He used to be a power engineer, but has been on disability since the mid 90s. Lynn is still working. He's a supervisor at a hospital and teaches law classes. It's a lot to ask Ned to take on, but he's an amazing caregiver for mom. And so I'm, I'm just, mom and I are very blessed. Dr. Farrell says cases like Mary Feldman are part of a larger trend he's been seeing over the last 25 years. Our patients are living longer due to the miracles of modern medicine, great antibiotics, great blood pressure medicines, but they seem to be living longer with more disabilities and more need more help in just getting by on a day-to-day -day basis. Dr. Farrell says this aging population is going to need more long-term care than ever. But that care is going to come with a huge cost that most aren't able to pay. It's one of the most common causes of loss of wealth for our, our families and our children. <laughs>